My name is Chelsea Smith, and I'm a program manager for Girl Scouts of Western Ohio and an amateur naturalist. I've spent my entire life getting to know the world around me, and now I'm here to share what I've learned with you. Join me for this week's Camp Creature Feature, showcasing frogs and toads. Frogs and toads belong to an order of amphibians called anura, meaning without tail. There are 15 species belonging to four families found here in the state of Ohio. Frogs are predominantly aquatic, meaning they live in or near the water. However, some species do live on land. Frogs typically have smooth skin, long legs from which they leap, and moist skin. Toads are mostly terrestrial, meaning land dwelling. They have shorter limbs than frogs, therefore are more squat and move by hopping. Most people associate toads with warts due to their dry skin being covered in them. Toads also secrete a poison from two raised areas located behind their eyes called parotid glands. Frogs and toads go through something called metamorphosis, which is the change in shape of the body during its lifetime. Both frogs and toads start off as an egg. Then they become tadpoles. The tadpoles begin by growing back legs, then front legs, then their tail starts to disappear until they become a full grown adult. Although small in stature, frogs and toads do have effective defense mechanisms to protect them against predators. While some may use camouflage or make a quick leap into the water, others produce mild toxins called buthotoxins. As mentioned before, Toads have parotid glands located behind their eyes, as well as other glands that secrete toxins that make them distasteful or poisonous. They may also employ tactics like releasing their bladder or crouching down to remain immobile. Some frogs advertise that they are poisonous by showing off bright warning colors, such as the gray tree frog and its yellow underlegs. It secretes a toxin that can become uncomfortable to the eyes, lips, mucus lining of the nose, and open cuts. Make sure to wash your hands after handling them. No matter where you are in Ohio, you're bound to see a frog or a toad somewhere. Just remember that they're wild animals and they're meant to be that way, not in a cage in a room. That's all I have for this week's camp creature feature. I hope to see you guys next time. This is Chelsea, signing off. Peace out, Girl Scouts.